Is Toronto real estate market crashing? Will the Toronto real estate market crash? Is it going up or down? Hello friends, Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto Realtor Mortgage Broker. And today we're gonna to look at what's going on in uh, the condos, that, that specifically the Toronto condo market, maybe a, a little around. I'm gonna give you a quick review here. It's gonna be a short and to the point video. So come with me to uh, condos.ca. You gotta be logged in to see the stats. Once you come here, uh, you can hit on the little uh, expand and you're gonna see the chart. So the first thing to look at is Toronto Condo Average sold PSF for the last 14 days. So this is now this is not the numbers for TREB. This is the number that Condos.ca calculates. It's a private company. Um, how they do it, what information, what algorithm they use, we don't know. We'll just take it with a grain of salt. But more or less, uh, they, they have their hands on uh, their finger on, on a pulse. So right now it's showing us at $818 per square foot. And it's just under 2% uh, year over year value, which means more or less the same as it was a year ago. If you look here, uh, it'll give you kind of a floating number, $822. Uh, dollars. So there's a $4 difference here, and that probably depends because these two numbers are not calculated from the same information. This is for the month uh, of June, and I'm not sure how they calculate the 818. Uh, it'll be nice if they told us. And you can see what happens when the, uh, the situation hit. Uh, we dropped down, there's almost no sales, 554 sales. Uh, even in uh, January's before, we had way more, of course. And last year, was just just ended up with a bang. You can see the volume of 2016 and 17 was higher. And because prices are keep going up, the volume of transaction and the demand is so high that this is, don't forget, this is only resale, this is not new construction. So you can see the resale is more or less stable in 2018. And then 2019 goes up again. Okay, the the biggest uh, the biggest increase, of course, we've seen in the 15, 16, 17, 18 price. There's a huge jump here. And then once you get to 2020, we had a beginning of a huge price increase with a lot of uh, huge volume of transaction. And then it drops. And the question is why? Obviously, the situation we're in is one thing, but the other you got to remember that all the foreign investments that come to Toronto, and I don't have I don't know how many exactly are there. But you can imagine because uh, Canada and Toronto are immigration nations, a lot of money that comes here comes with the immigrants from their source countries into Canada. Okay, so this could be one reason that we see um, lower transactions and lower prices because money that flows from the outside uh, is not coming in, and money on the inside, of course, everyone's sitting on their hands. Now, mind you. If, uh, if a lot of people lose their jobs and they can't pay the rent and they can't pay the mortgages, that will put down pressure on prices. And we can see that there's a bit of a down pressure here. Now this uh, adjustment from about just under 800 to almost 880, 870, 10% jump, they're just uncalled for, okay? That is, that is not healthy for any market to see this kind of a jump. So if we, if we are coming back to these prices here, say 770 a foot, 780 a foot, and we're still above that by about 30 to $40 a foot or about 5%, that'll make sense to me. So if we wanna go back and dial back to the price of 2019, we're looking at about 10, uh, five, about five-ish percent less, about 30 or $40 a foot, 40 over 800, that's 5%, 30 over 800, that's, that's less. Uh, if we go into these prices here, 735, 730, 770, so let's say, let's call it 730. Uh, now we need to dial back 70 and 18. We need to dial back almost $100 a foot. That's more significant. That's about 12 or 14%. That's more significant. Um, if we have to dial back to 2017 numbers, and we're looking well over, uh, well under uh, 700, 685, 687, 686, you see, and you can see how a lot of these price increases actually happen in the beginning of each of these years. At the beginning, it kind of gets momentum and then it more or less stays stable. It gets a momentum and then gets stable. Momentum and gets stable. So if we go, if we go into this level here, 6, 680, 670, that's way more significant now if we're dialing back two years. Um, but what that's going to do, that's also going to open the market to a lot of locals who have not been able to purchase in Toronto so far, uh, assuming there's enough product for them to buy. Okay, if anyone bought and they are floating the unit, means they're breaking even, um, or they're living in the units, obviously 
they're not going to sell it unless they need to move or they need the money or somebody died or got divorced or whatever happened. Um, but most people just live in their place. So you can see how two forces in action here. And it's really, we need to know, I like to know, um, what are the percentage of foreign money? And when I say foreign, it doesn't mean to be completely foreign. It could be just an immigrant coming to Canada. There's probably about 300,000 of those every year. And they buy a house or they buy a condo. And uh, they, they have a family. They consume stuff. So all that money coming into Canada is stopping. Okay. Now, what's going to... That, that, of course, there's a huge uh, after effect. There's like every tsunami has an after effect, which is all the industry that's supporting uh, this stuff here... Um, are suffering. So you, you, you're suffering if you're supporting because um, if you're going for, uh, if, if you bought a, a property and you want to flip it or you want to rent it out and there's many properties on the market or there's many rentals in the market because Airbnb, Airbnbs are not very busy right now, uh, that's going to create more supply in the market. Uh, if it's the same demand or lesser demand, still more supply, it's going to put down pressure price. Uh, down down pressure on prices okay so you can see here it's really really hard to tell what's going on right now because we're still in the middle of all this and we don't know what's going to happen and how people are going to react to it and what governments are going to react to it and what's going to happen with jobs i mean obviously construction sites are going but those were financed already uh will new construction sites open will developer uh, le uh release new sites there's not too many actually there's some sites released. Go to torontocondosforsale.com, my site, and you can see there's a 28 Eastern coming at around uh, 1,200 a foot, give or take. Small units are more, large units are less. Um, here, I focused on King West, and if you look at the King, King West, that's not the right map there, uh, but the, that's King West stats. Here we go, it's loading the map probably loading another area. I just got to uncheck it if I can. I think that's that. Okay, so here's the King West. This is condos.ca, of course. And you can see here, I'm going to try it again. Okay, here we go. So the average price per, per foot, it's calculate, it comes at 1038 a foot based on 875 recent sales. Now remember, it's recent from 2019 even counts toward anything. Is January numbers count for, for anything? It's really hard to tell right now. Um, but what I can tell you is whatever comes to market, and you can just see it, whatever comes to market uh, is doing well. Um, there's still the willingness, and I can see from what people are buying and selling uh, the prices here are pretty strong why because most of the units are small and the prices are still somewhat reasonable so if you're getting a thousand buck a foot in the around the downtown core in the downtown core king west queen west uh along bay street yorkville it'll be a thousand and more okay so you're still getting four dollars a foot uh, and that's based on again this could be a little less these days because the average, if it goes back a year, obviously it's skewed. But you can see here the numbers. So the numbers are going up. The rentals are evening here, maybe slightly dropping. That's not necessarily bad. It's not that much really, but it's enough to make a small difference. It's less uh, 6 say 7% for now. And the prices are up 7%. Okay, so... It just tells you that the common sense of the people still seeing value in this area. And I always tell you, it's not about buying cheapest, it's about buying best value. Best value means it's going to last. It's going to last. Uh, anything's going to happen. You know, this situation is not going to be forever, but it, but it could take a year or two or three. And at the end of it, we can live in a quite different world. Uh, but still, people need a place to live. You can see here, there's still lots of listings. The average for the downtown is 1041, just about the same as King West. The average rental is about the same. Uh, the increases here are about the same. The rental graph is about the same. So it's still active. Now, if we're going to take all the commercial office spaces out of downtown and people are not going to need to use them anymore, 
do they need to live downtown to be close to the office not to use the terrible subway service we have here? Well, that's a good question. If they don't need to meet with each other personally, why don't they go and live in other places which are cheaper? And if other places are cheaper now, and a lot of people are going to move, like thousands of them, obviously that's going to make a change in the local market of Toronto and wherever they move into. So you'd expect Toronto to soften and wherever they move to, to have more demand before prices going up. I mean, that's been happening in Hamilton for many years, and now it's expanding to Guelph Kitchen in Waterloo, Brantford, Dundas, Ontario, all these places, okay? Here's a fashion house. So there's only two units for sale at the moment. Uh, you got 585 for one of, for one of the uh, basic uh, units. Now, this unit here, um, you can see it's a four floor. That's the back of the keg. So they don't actually, it's a really nice clean unit. It doesn't have any, um, any view, but it does have access to the pool, which is open. The gym, outdoor pools are open. Gym, gym are not at today at the moment, could change any time. Let's see, they still got a lot of light, but obviously there's nothing to look at. Uh, and this unit is $1,010 a foot. So it's about $30 less than building average, about 3% less than building average. Why? Um, probably because of the view. Uh, it's close to 600 square feet with a maintenance fees of 426. That, that's, that's not bad, okay? That's a decent unit. Not a lot of view, under 600. Um, is it high? Is it low? It's, it's quite high, um, but it may stay that way for the small units, for the small units, because on a small unit, you can achieve a lot better price. If you go to Queen West, you're also going to see that Liberty Village, maybe slightly cheaper. Um, across Strawn, when you got the new buildings, maybe you find a deal there. And then you go back to uh, Queen West. Bellwoods and then the triangle. It's kind of a mixed area. But if you look at the Queen West itself, um, that area is expensive again. And the prices are going up there, 12.9%. Again, that's one year change. Uh, that may be a little different. Now, what do we got here? 2019 sold per foot. So you can see 2019. The question what's going to happen in 2020? Um, so hard to tell, but my point is if you focus on the good areas with good buildings it's always good because at the end of the day no situation lasts forever human wants to live human wants to hang out human wants to overcome any problem they have and have a great time and have a great life that's what we do here and for that um, that's what we do so toronto is a big city lots of uh properties Lots of opportunities. I have a list of reduced. If you want to get the reduced list, just send me an email and I'll send you a link to the reduced list and that updates all the time. If you want a link to um, assignments, send me a note. There's also a link here, uh, assignment listings. These are some of them. These are only the ones on the list, on the system, on the listing. There are many more, of course. So you can send me a quick note and say, I want to see some assignments. Um, just tell me what area you're looking for and kind of price range. Give me a bit of an idea what you're looking for. Maybe we'll have a quick chat on the phone just to make sure that I send you the right ones. Okay. Uh, so far, so good. Stay optimistic. Um, help each other. I think we're going to come out of this way, way better. We're going to understand value better. Um, a, a lot, I, I said that before, but a lot depends on the commercial spaces and how we're going to look at work, how we're going to look at socialization. Um, at some point, I think the situation will go away. Hard to tell, of course. It's just my, my personal hunch. Um, you may have yours, but I'm pre pretty optimistic today and every day about life and everything. Thank you very much. That's it for today.